Gentlemen, ladies, boys and girls, cats, born birthday hats, welcome back to another episode of The Boss Rush. Now, if you're not familiar with The Boss Rush, or this is somehow your first episode, think of this as like an encyclopedia of where do I get a legendary item, who drops the legendary item, what's the drop rate for that legendary item, and what other information do I need to know about this legendary item. By the end of the series, we will have gotten every single legendary drop that can be dropped as a dedicated drop by an enemy in Borderlands 3. So today we're starting DLC 3. In the previous episode, we did all of Necrotefeo, we did all of DLC 1, and we did all of DLC 2 in one episode. You can see that right here. All right, and with that, let's go ahead and get started with DLC 3. So we are starting off the day here at Ashfall Peaks. All right, so to farm the contained blast, you're gonna come to this location on the map right here. This is again, Ashfall Peaks. Starting from the main thing, you're just gonna run up here. And right here in this little hallway, is a save station so you're going to trigger that save station before you start this farm every time you do this farm you will start from there so let me show you where that's located it's just in this hallway you just run slightly down here and boom right here on the map is where you want to be Ooh, here we go did we get it there we go double penetrating shredded contained blast on our second run uh drop rates for pretty much every single thing in this dlc and dlc 3 is ridiculously good definitely easier to farm in dlc 3 than in most dlcs the contained blast is a very good torg assault rifle okay so now we're about to farm lanny dixon who is located right here on your map one thing that you need to note here is that there is a save station right here which is down the hill from lanny now i know what you're thinking well k6 just parkour up this cliff and go farmer that way no most of the time you have to go all the way around there now that said if you have any kind of speed boosts if you trigger your speed boosts mantle this thing and then run and jump and hit that. You can mantle up this ledge and come through the back way to Lanny Dixon. And then Lanny will be an invisible bastard right here. You just come in and wreck her and hopefully get the complex route. Again, 33% drop chance. So naturally we didn't get it on the first run. So try, try again. And there we go. Run number three, we got the complex route. This gun is ridiculous. If you've never used the complex route, this gun is just absolutely insane okay so now we're about to go farm garrett and loke who is located right here on your map you want to run over to this spot on the map because you're going to trigger the save station here and that's where you can start all your farms for this guy so right here's the save station and then we just run back down these steps and around the corner to garrett and, and uh garrett can drop the robin's call <laughs> he's asserting his dominance <laughs> Shit. Oh, man, where'd my clone go? Oh, there he is. There we go, finally. Run number eight. <laughs> Took a while, but we got it. Now we're here at the middle of the map, right where the fast travel station is in the middle of the map, which is the uh, Caldera Stronghold fast travel. From here, we're just going to run through these doors and go up to this area where we have Hat on Mar. The fastest way to get to Hat on Mar is to just quickly hit this jump pad. You're going to fly across to this area, and then you're going to run over here, and you got to hit a jump pad in this little section section to fly up to his area and there he is and in this room if you bust this thing open there is a jacob's chest back here in the corner just for what it's worth <laughs> there's the narp there we go second run it's not bad that's not too bad of a farm only uh it is a 25 percent drop chance all right now we're here at this point of the map which is basically the end of the map and moving right ahead here is going to be Cormash. Cormash can drop the stone throw at 50% drop chance. Don't know why his drop chance is higher. I'm not going to complain. 50% is pretty nice. So we just slide down the waterfall, jump in here, and as you can see, Cormash spawns up top. Cormash likes to knock these things down at you, so try and avoid those. And he is weak to fire, so use fire on this guy. And there we have it. First run. Naturally, we got a super ball and a stone thrower. There you have it. So the stone thrower can spawn in a masher variant as well. So make sure you look for that. Moving on now to the blast planes. And here we are at the starting point of the blast planes. We're going to head over to this point of the map where the Vordukan spawns. At least that's how I say his name. It might be Vordukan. I don't know. So let's grab a car and we'll head over there. This is the save station that you're going to start all of your farms from for Vordukan, which is located right here. And again, from there, you just got to run around to this corner. It is a very fast farm for the most part. Verdukan does have a few phases that it goes through. Basically, it starts out pretty big. You shoot that, kill it, and then it spawns into a smaller version. So I'll show you that real quick here too. Now he's a small version. 
And then final version and loot explosion. So nothing on the first run, so we save and quit and try again. All right, here we go. Nasty satisfaction and unfortunately accurate title for this gun because it's pretty nasty. And not in like the, I can do lots of damage with this thing way, but more in like the, this gun's nasty, so I'm leaving it on the ground kind of way. Our next farm is going to be for the plumage. So starting from this spot on the blast planes right here, you're actually going to have two different ways. You can run up and around and come over to this spot over here, or you can just jump up on this table, jump up on the fence, and then just run across the fence and get in here. And then dude is going to spawn over here. Okay, so over here, Rendon esque will spawn. He's a flying enemy, so a big pain in the butt. If you have a soul render, that'll handle this for you. Or if you're like me and you can just freeze enemies, then that makes this pretty easy as well. You just freeze him, he drops to the ground, then you kill him. So we didn't get anything on the first run. Like I showed you, that save station will be your starting point for each subsequent run. So we save, quit, and we try again. Get it? There we go, the prototype plumage. Okay, up next, we're gonna head over to farm the Bronsons. Now, the uh, the fastest way to get to these guys is actually from right beside where you fought Vordukan, but I did this thing a little bit differently, and I'm gonna show you guys the fastest save station trigger right here on your map. So starting from here, you're gonna grab a vehicle every single time, and you're gonna ride across to this point where you get off, and there's a jump pad that launches you over to the Bronsons. When you get to this spot on the map, you do have to disembark from your vehicle. It won't let you take that in there. There is this jump pad. I like to hit this thing, and that basically takes us over to the point where they basically will start their spawns. And the only one that can drop anything is the one that rides the blue dinosaur, which is Adelaide Bronson. We're going to kill that one, and hopefully we get it on the first run. Wow, locked out. There you have it. There's the bright side. Actually, a pretty decent uh, TD or shotgun. Not as good as the Anarchy, but... Not bad regardless. And this one can roll with splash damage annoyance, so keep that in mind. Okay, now we have traveled to this fast travel station on our map, which is the Fort Kickwater fast travel. From here, we're just going to run across this little section here and head over to this spot where we're going to farm Ip Switch Done. Ip Switch Done can drop the Blanc, which is a Knives Out reference. Love that movie. And there's Ip Switch. Wow, first run, there we go. Decent gun, not as good as a lot of other uh, pistol options, but there you have it. All right, now from this location, you can actually just drop down over this cliff. However, there is a save station over here, which we're gonna trigger, and I'm gonna show you a faster way to do this farm in general. So starting from this location here in the Blast Plains, we're gonna run forward, parkour up this hill, and go back here to fight the Slither Maul. Slither Maul can drop the mother too, which is not a great gun, but you know, it's in the game, so whatever. So what you wanna do here is you wanna parkour up the small part of this hill and then get onto the slightly larger and then up that. You can also take the teleporter to get up here if you wanna do that, but you do lose a little bit of time. So Slither Maul will spawn back here in the back. Really cool looking enemy, but drops one of the worst guns in the game, in my opinion. Just an absolute terrible gun, the mother too. All right, there we have it. There is the Unlimited Mother 2. Now, starting from the same save station that we farmed Rendon esque from right here on our map, we're going to run up here and we're going to travel up through a teleporter to get to the Terra Domini. Now, you do have to unlock the teleporter options in this DLC before you can farm this guy. So here is the save station that we are going to start this farm from located right here on your map. From here, you just go around the corner. You're going to jump through this teleporter. Do not slide through teleporters, please God. Let me just emphasize that. And then, so that spawns you over here onto this little chunk of the map and the Terra Domini will spawn from this cliff. Try not to kill it when it's outside of the map over there because then you would have to go back to Sanctuary to kick, collect your loot. There we go, we got it. There's our dowsing rod, woo! So to farm the light show starting from this fast travel station in the Obsidian Forest, you're going to make your way over to this cave where Lazodactyl will spawn. So what you want to do is you want to come into this cave and then when Lazodactyl spawns, just back up toward the cave entrance. Lazodactyl will always feel enticed to come over to you which will allow you to get all their loot to drop here on the floor and not off the sides of the map. There we go, and there's our light show. Hey, we got a cryo one. I actually needed a cryo one for this build, so thank you. Not a great annoyment on that, but there you have it. Light show, one of the, if not the best, pistols in the game. Absolutely love this gun for my Zane. It's so freaking amazing. 
Starting from the exact same fast travel station that we did the light show farm from, right here, the Crone's Contentment, we're going to continue on through the caves and get over here to the Hydragoians. So over here is the cave for the Hydragoians, but we're going to go the opposite way first, and we're going to trigger this save station right here down the hallway. This means from here, we can just run down here and do this farm over and over. Just hit this jump pad, you fly up into the area and Hydragoian will spawn back here in the back right. We're gonna do this, we're gonna freeze them and melt them down. And nothing on run number one. There we go, proprietary license. So this gun applies stickies, Hyperion level shield. Okay, you got stickies, you got the shield. You also get the ricocheting crits like a Jacobs really cool gun for Waylon herd who drops the spade you want to head to this point of your map and this is where you will find the closest save station for this farm from here you're just going to go around here and into this cave where Waylon herd will spawn basically you can uh jump and go around this way and then you've got this little shed and you can jump up on this cliff then you run around into this area here and he will spawn back here in the back usually there he is there we go. There is the spade. He also dropped us a uh, more easy gargoyle. Okay, starting from this save station right here, we're going to double back on the map and go over here and farm Electricore, who can drop their frequency. So to get into this cave for Electricore, you do need to bust this thing open and then run back here to the back where Electricore will spawn. First run, how about it? Let's go. Yep, there we go. It's pretty easy to get first runs in this DLC since the drop rates are so high. It's one of the many things I like about this DLC. At the very end of this map, we are now located right here on the map, which is, like I said, basically right back to the beginning almost. And right by these vending machines, there's the save station. And then there's going to be a jump pad right here that takes you into this arena where we fight Bellic Primus. Now, unfortunately, Bellic Promises drop the chandelier is terrible. I don't actually recommend farming this thing, but in case they ever buff it, you'll have this guide in this video to show you how to get to the thing. Finally, the chandelier. That's definitely a gun that you want to spend that many runs trying to get. Let me tell you, I'm going to leave it there on the ground if that gives you any kind of indication on how amazing that gun is. On to Blood Sun Canyon. Now, at the very beginning of this map, we have an enemy named the Minosaur. The Minosaur can drop the Flipper, one of the best SMGs in the game. From the starting fast travel station, we just need to run around to this point on the map. Real quick, easy farm. Here we go, run number two, we got the flipper. As you can see, it's a real quick, easy farm. Try to get this thing in all the different elements. Get yourself one that has uh, good anointments on it for your build. Just an absolute beast of an SMG. Continuing through the map, we're now going to head over to Jarek Logan in Blood Sun Canyon. Jarek Logan is actually located right before the elevator. So I know a lot of people will say, well, why don't you fast travel to this fast travel station, then take the elevator up? It's actually faster to run all the way across the map than it is to wait for this elevator. This is the slowest elevator in the history of Earth. It's really damn slow. So we're gonna run across here. All right, so here we are at the nearest save station to Jarek Logan, which is right here on the map. And Jarek Logan is gonna spawn in this room over here, again, right before the elevator. All right, Jarek Logan is a speed demon. Oh, there's our beacon. Really good gun. Not enough people use this thing since the Free Radical came out. It's still absolutely amazing. Plus, you're able to get different elements on it. All right, up next, we've got Dickon Goyle from the elevator spawn right here. The presentation room. You're just going to head over to this point on the map. There is a save station. And then you're going to head back this way to Dickon Goyle, who's located right here on your map. So right here is the save station for the Dickon Goyle fight. So basically, every time you spawn in, you're just going to run through here and back here to Dickon Goyle. All right, run number one, run number one. We've got the more quick gargoyle. You want to look for gargoyles that have a multiplier on them, like times three, times four, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. On to the next farm in this area. We are now going over to Caber Dowd, who is located right here on your map. To get to Caber Dowd, you will start from this save station right here, and all you got to do is run through this area, out this door, and then there's going to be a teleporter right here and we're going to take that teleporter it'll bring us over into this area and then we drop down and fight him okay so when you come over here you do need to bust open this thing right here again located right here on the map and then you just go through the teleporter and that brings you over to this part of the map which is where caber Dowd will spawn so we just drop in and the uh save station for caber Dowd is right here so every time you spawn in you just got to drop down and kill caber Dowd. it's a real quick easy farm 
There we go. Finally, the Unkempt Herald pack and shredded. The uh, times three version of the Unkempt Herald is the better option, which I know sounds crazy, but the times four actually doesn't give you any extra projectiles, but it does consume more ammo per shot. So that's why you want to use the times three and not the times four. Finally, at the very end of the map in Blood Sun Canyon, right here at these vending machines, there is a save station. And then we're going to drop in and we're going to fight the quartermaster who can drop the miscreant which is a really good pistol that i don't see very many people use oh my goodness gracious all right first run got a swift miscreant finally on to the final map of this dlc dlc3 we're going to crater's edge this is where the final boss of this dlc is located and this boss can drop the bloom all right when you get to this point of the ruiners map the crater's edge there is a save station right here by the vending machines and you can start each of your farms from there you're just going to jump in here and kill the ruiner and hopefully we get the bloom on the first run this thing is a 50 percent drop chance ruiner is a great source for xp if you are looking to increase your vault card xp good place to come do it there we go there's the bloom not one of my favorite jacob's pistols in the game but it's how you farm it in case you want to get it. And that concludes DLC 3. So the goal in arms race is to get as many things per run as possible. So wish me luck. All right, trick shot. <laughs> Two trick shots. Great. So from this chest that we just now looted, you can get the trick shot. You can get the tizzy or you can get the flak class mod. Breath of the Dying, sweet. And a plasma coil. Ooh, splash damage. Okay, that's a really good plasma coil. <laughs> what we got? What we got? Death rattle. All right, we can mark that off the list. Okay, so we got the, uh, the death rattle out of a random chest. However, if you want to actually farm it from its source, you would farm it from this chest right here. This is where you could normally get the death rattle. But again, in arms race, you can get all of the different things randomly from random enemies as well thought i was far enough away that that wasn't gonna hit me oh hello random world drop ah kick charger <laughs> all right so we got the kick charger as a random world drop however this thing normally drops from this chest right here in case you are looking for that anytime you want to see all these various locations where you can farm up the arms race gear head over to mentalmars.com search his search bar for arms race he has a map it shows you where to get everything. It's pretty great. Uh, by the way, just a little Phoenix University lesson for you guys. If you are running to get past enemies and you want to minimize the amount of times you get shot, jump. Enemies have a harder time shooting you while you're jumping. Hey, we got an Infernal Wish. That is another one that drops from a very specific chest. So normally we get that thing from this chest right here, but it can world drop from any of the other chests or any of the other enemies in this uh entire dlc so ooh, a random world drop huh a toboggan yo this one's got pistol damage area of effect damage that's really that's a good one so the toboggan that we just now got as a random drop normally will drop from these chests over here but like everything else in this deals that you can get it from basically anywhere all right, and there's the clockwork res can never be anointed um not good for damage and really the only reason you use it is to revive teammates from a distance come on give me a tizzy already yay Ooh, tizzy and a trick shot quit it <laughs> yeah quit it hey a times two critical thug oh and a jackhammer sweet we're set now we bought some of that last time we were there Ooh, hey binary operator we don't have to go chase that down now Woo Binary Operator will normally spawn out of the same chest that we got the Kick Charger. Uh, that would be this chest right here. The Kick Charger and the Boogeyman out of. So, yay. Don't have to go farm for that. Nice tries, right? Oh, hello. Hey, Hot Foot Teddy. There's our Madcap. Amp and Spike. Movement Speed Sentinel Cry. Or uh, Sentinel Active of Movement Speed, rather. Hey, we got our Torrent. Sweet, we don't have to do the underground area anymore. We've already got the Critical Thug, the Torrent, and we got the uh, Hot Foot Teddy. Thank you guys for hanging out on my couch while you play video games poorly. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We knocked out all of DLC 3. We started Arms Race tomorrow. Hopefully we can finish Arms Race. Arms Race is tricky, though. You never know how many things you can get in one day. 
but we'll try to continue that tomorrow on the next episode. Hope to see you guys over on twitch.tv slash killer six link in the description below. If you want to come watch live anytime, appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.